Danville's exciting. Every single day is something different. You could be running at any moment. You might have to be jumping over walls and, and fences and stuff. You're gonna be running call to call. It's not a place for somebody to come if they, they want to sit in a squad car and not do much. You gotta be confident, you gotta be energetic, and you have to want to work. It's action packed. When you break the wall, we, I mean, we have to do our job. You gotta be adaptable, you gotta be personable. You get pretty busy, you have to make decisions, being physically fit, mentally fit. You gotta be willing to learn. You gotta be able to take constructive criticism. You gotta be able to wanna to try new things. Honesty, integrity, being a human being, that's the biggest one. You gotta be able to talk to people. Communicating is huge, not only with the people that you're talking to on calls, but the people that you work with. I feel like it's honorable to be a part of this department. Being able to be a part of that team, it's amazing. Policing wasn't my first route. That's not what I thought I was gonna be doing my whole life. I'm a history teacher by trade, and I was looking for something where I could make a difference in the community. When I looked into policing, I thought, oh, hey, that's everything all balled into one. That gives you an opportunity to go out and make a difference, you know, maybe touch a life, potentially save a life. There's all kinds of possibilities to be able to assist people. Understanding what people are going through, understanding the whole picture, having that wanting to help attitude. You help people every single day. You're helping people on making decisions. And then also in stressful situations, people that need help, you can come and potentially save a life. The good thing about this department is we do have opportunities. We have our problem-oriented policing unit. We have our units that deal with the Danville Housing Authorities. We have a K-9 unit. If you're interested in being an SRO, school resource officer, if you want to be in the school with the kids, helping out, you know, the staff there. Also ERU, which is what I'm a part of. You can also become a detective if you want and part of the Criminal Investigative Division. Our honor guard is really the face of our department, hoisting the colors and marching at the front of the parade. Pins are perfect, uniforms are perfect. They see us and they see that we're human, but they also see that we care about being in the community. We all work together. If you need to get something done, we get it done. It's not a day in the world I wouldn't lay my life down for this city because it's something I swore to do. These past two years has been a very rough time to be a police officer. That doesn't reflect here in Dan. Our community, they supported us, absolutely. When we treat people how we want to be treated, the community responds well to that, and we've got a really good relationship. Being able to get out of your squad car, walk around, conversate, just go into neighborhoods and play with kids, throw a football, play basketball, just being a part of that community. We work together side by side, hand in hand with the community. From your peers that you work with, to your sergeants, to your lieutenants, to your deputy chiefs, to your chiefs, to the citizens, to the city council, to the mayor, they all have your back. And as long as we adhere to our standards, they will always have our back. And that's something you don't necessarily see in every community. Here at Danville, we're with the community. We're part of the community. We are the community.